Hello everyone and welcome to a really awesome attacking or better yet counter-attacking game uh, from the 1938 um, uh, Nordvike tournament that was played in Netherlands. It's Rudolf Spielmann versus Paul Keres uh, and I'm showing this game as uh, today is 106 years uh, since the birth of um, uh, the great Paul Keres, uh, also known as the always second Paul Keres. Uh, and um, I, I thought about uh, a lot of different games, but this one has always been one of my favorite um, uh, games he played. And uh, one of the reasons is probably uh, maybe it's the first one that I saw that he played. It was uh, featured in the old um, uh, Chess Master series on, on, on um, PC. I, I think it's the, the Grandmaster Edition. Yeah, the Chess Master 9 Grandmaster Edition or something like that, uh, where, where Josh, Josh Waitzkin would explain how to counterattack in chess. And this is um, a beautiful game to really understand understand the just the notion of, of the counter-attack in chess because you could approach this position uh in in many different ways but the way uh paul here does it, it it's just you know uh, very human uh so that being said let's check it out i, I don't think um uh either spielman or, or keres need uh, any further uh introduction as they are both very well known but it's basically a, a clash of the old guard versus the new up-and-coming players keres being the uh, new up-and-coming player here very young and spielman being a member of the the old guard with uh, bogolyubov and tartakover and uh, you know many of the old masters so let's check it out and see and also a spielman known as a brilliant brilliant attacker him himself um, uh, he of course uh, well always likes to create uh, a fire on the board so here Spielmann with the white pieces opens with e4 uh, Keres goes for the uh, French defense we have e6 we have d4 d5 and now knight to c3 so a normal French defense uh, knight to f6 and now e5 advancing the pawn here the Steinitz variation going after the knight knight f to d7 uh, preparing c5 and as black will try to under undermine the center from the flank uh, white uh, advances the f pawn to uh, additionally support the center so here we have c5 uh, and nowadays knight to f3 is what uh, we would play but um, d captures on c5 was was fine in those days uh, and now uh, knight to c6 Keras doesn't um, uh, rush in in recapturing the pawn because you can't really defend it before is impossible and well th there's just no 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 way to defend this pawn so here a3 Spielmann prepares to play b4 to defend the c5 pawn and only now Keras captures it with queen to g4 uh, putting pressure on this pawn uh, and even though this uh, line is still kind of playable uh, many m many better lines were found for white so you will not see this uh, very very often in modern chess so here g6 uh, preventing the g seven pawn from being captured and knight to f3 now we have a6 now Akeras prepares to advance on the queen side and now bishop to d3 uh, we have b5 now advancing on the queen side and uh, Spielmann the great attacker that he is uh, of course knows the value of uh, pawn to b4 push so he he does that exactly and now bishop there are a couple of games where bishop to e7 was played but here we have bishop to a7 and it is as of move 11 that this uh, position has never been reached again so here uh, what do you play well uh, you could continue by just you know uh, continuing development you still have to develop your bishop you still have to decide whether you're going to castle queenside or kingside or or whatnot uh, for, for the moment kingside castling isn't allowed uh, so you might want to attend to that somehow maybe bring the knight here maybe c3 maybe block with knight here then castle uh, many different ways to, to play this uh, but here uh, he strikes with a4 and this is a little bit weird because uh, well uh, you leave your b4 pawn hanging uh, but okay you want to create some some trouble here and now okay uh, Keras could go for knight captures on b4 and it's perfectly fine for black for example a captures on b5 and now knight c5 and it's really questionable uh, how white will get out of this one uh, yes okay you're threatening for example knight captures here followed by knight to c2 check winning the rook but let's say king e2 you sidestep all of this and now what do you play let's say d4 you chase away the knight knight the e4 already uh, you know it's complete madness on the board and this is not the the kind of chess uh, Keras wanted to play so here Keras just chased away the queen with h5 we have queen to g3 and now queen to e7 uh, and now uh, the position is well 
pretty pretty crazy uh Keres can still capture this b4 pawn it's uh it's just a weakness in the position and the spielmann could continue with something like a capture some b5 or he could offer a queen trade with queen to g5 uh, but he decided to stay true to himself uh you know the, uh, he doesn't want to go against his nature and he plays f5 another a crazy attacking move so first he goes b4 a4 now f5 just advancing pawns on both sides of the board and this was 1938 before uh you know new, new Orleans networks made this uh, cool uh so uh, it's uh, it's a position where black has many great moves and uh, i'm sure you guys already uh, see a, a couple of them uh but just for for fun feel free to pause the video and try to find the move keras played uh, as it's uh, just a really really uh, human move to play and it really shows how white's uh, white's attacking move uh, will simply not to do uh so wh while i give you a couple of seconds So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on finding some, uh, you know, normal moves, queen captures on b4 or h4 or g captures on f5, but the move uh, Keras played is actually bishop back to b8. And this is, uh, if you always think about, you know, uh, the strongest move is with the knight back, you will also find these uh, moves with the bishop back. And now by playing f5, what white actually did is he weakened the e5 pawn. With the b4 pawn already weak, this is... Uh, well, not all that, uh, not all that easy to pull off. So now, how do you continue this with white? Uh, what wh what can you play here? Well, here uh, f captures on g6 was played. There's really no good way to defend the e5 pawn as it's attacked three times. And now Keras just goes knight captures on the uh, on e5. And now. Uh, what, what do you play here? Uh, strongest for white is queen g5. You offer a queen trade and uh, after this gets traded off, for example, captures, we're going to capture on f7 with check, knight captures, bishop captures. Uh, it's still not all that great for white. We can capture on b4 here and now let's say a captures on b5. We're going to play knight captures, knight captures and bishop e5 now. Attack the knight and it's, uh, well, black is up a pawn, but his position is also much better, very, very active and white would not have a lot of fun playing this uh, so instead after knight d captures on e5 we have g captures on f7 queen captures on f7 and now knight to g5 attacking the, the queen here so queen to f6 an excellent square for the queen not only are you threatening to move the knight to expose the queen to the bishop but also once this e5 knight moves you will also uh, expose this diagonal so this is the the the, the power of Keras in, in its fullest uh, rook to f1 now attacking the queen and offering well basically offering the exchange uh, but now Keras goes knight to g4 and now everything is attacked this is attacked this is attacked or rather the queen is attacked the knight here is attacked with check if the knight moves then the rook is attacked so what do you play here uh, if you just go for the trade rook captures on f6 then we capture on g3 h captures knight captures on f6 we've won the exchange where we're very happy with our position so instead after knight uh, to g4 we have queen to f3 sidestepping this bishop and also now uh, just uh, you know really staying true to your nature uh, spielman as a natural attacker gives up a full knight here with check uh, so he can start attacking with queen to f7 maybe and um try and create something so Keras goes for this queen captures on c3 with check king to d1 and now he can even grab a rook here and while grabbing a rook is perfectly fine again it could be a little bit dangerous Ro a queen captures on a1 queen to f7 check we're gonna move the king knight captures with check bishop captures queen captures and now with the you know the, the the light square bishop ready the rook ready to jump into the game if the queen leaves the back rank maybe we can even throw in a bishop to g5 check uh, it looks dangerous uh, even though you can play this uh, there's no reason to do it we've just grabbed a piece on c3 uh, we just go back queen to g7 and now what can spielman do uh, he's down material is there any compensation in the position he tries queen to e2 to do some damage here on the e6 square but now rook to f8 very very simple again not going for that a1 rook because you don't want to overcomplicate. you you <laughs> you know you have a winning position so here uh, if you go for knight captures on e6 it's nothing special just rook captures on f1 and now the queen has to move away from the defense of the knight on e6 so instead uh, uh spielman just captures 
capture than I fade. We have king captures, knight captures with check, forking the king and the queen, but luckily we have our bishop. So queen captures on e6 and now knight to f2 with check. Even this, not capturing the rook, but first we want to eliminate as many attackers as possible. So now if you go king d2, then bishop to f4 is just uh, extremely strong. So here king to e1 was played. Knight captures on d3. We have c captures on d3. And here uh, uh, Rudolf Spielmann resigned on move 26 without even allowing uh, uh, Keres to, uh, to to play his next move, uh, even though now he would probably capture the rook on a1. So uh, thing is, okay, now you capture on a1, let's say uh, queen captures on c6, you're going to move the rook and you're up a full rook. So of course, completely winning rook to e7 check is coming and there's not much white can do about this. He can't move the bishop. Uh, so there, there there's uh, nothing you can do. Uh, so uh, this is the game I chose. Uh, there were a lot of good candidates uh, at, at the show because uh, Paul Keres just has so many amazing games, uh, but I decided to show this one. As I remember when I first saw this game, uh, it really uh you know made me think about uh, how uh, how i'm playing chess uh, wrong and poorly sometimes or rather most of the times uh when you can play a move here for example after f5 you can you know just slow down play bishop to b8 and ask white what are you doing what is what is this b4 uh a4 f5 madness i mean it's not going to work just bishop to b8 and your entire position just collapses uh so yeah uh, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A nice uh, birthday present for uh, from Paul Keres for his uh, 106th birthday. Uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. Uh, I would like to thank Thomas Veterli, uh, Martin Schwela, Dylan Holloway, uh, Pat Koppinger, and Madir Isman uh, for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. Really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions, uh, such as this one and whatever else happens in the chess world. Uh, thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day.